Hey guys, uh, back again with another update on my electric hunting bike. I wanted to find a way to be able to transport more gear uh, to the woods, to my tree stand. Uh, got on local uh, Facebook marketplace and found this here. This is an in-step uh, two-seater kids bike trailer. And uh, found this one here for 30 bucks. So it's in pretty good shape. Um, comes with the coupler that goes to uh, the the through axle on the bike to the rear wheel. That's all in good shape. Comes with this little uh, training wheel in case you want to push this trailer as kind of like a stroller. I'll end up taking that off. But what I wanted to do here was just show you guys what it looked like uh, right whenever I purchased it. And then I'm going to start making some changes to it. Uh, it comes with this uh, detachable handle here, so you can put it up here and then, you know, push it just like a stroller. I uh, don't know how I'm going to incorporate that or if I'm even going to use it, but it's there if I need it. Probably take off this canvas, strip it down to its bare frame. I don't know if I'm going to be a real big fan of these uh, hard plastic wheels or not, but at least the tires do air up. The uh, tires, you can see, still have the little knobbies on it, so this thing's hardly been used. So I'm just going to start taking this thing apart and uh, trying to think of some ideas on how I can best set this up for trailing it behind my electric hunting bike. We'll see what I come up with, and hopefully it'll be a nice little valuable asset to trail behind the bike. All right, and so here we are with everything all stripped down. I've got all the canvas pieces stripped off. Um, I wanted to do that without cutting those with a razor knife so the only tools that you really need is adjustable wrench uh, one allen key and then just a Phillips screwdriver but you can see there quite a bit of hardware but I didn't know if I was going to reuse any of this so I wanted to keep all that intact um, I've got the bars here that I might incorporate back onto that but I uh, just wanted to get this down to a bare frame so I could kind of see what I was working with and then try to decide what kind of uh, floor that I'm going to put on this. I uh, don't want to add a whole lot of weight to it but I also want something pretty sturdy. I think this thing said it was rated for 80 pounds. I'm sure they're playing that just a little bit safe since you're you know dealing with kids riding behind a bicycle. Alright, here's what I have it down to now. I'm going to take these wheels off. I'm going to spray paint it a different color and then I'll be ready to start putting the floor in it and doing a few other things to it. Alright, got the rest of the stuff stripped off of there. Got the wheels removed. Now I'll just start putting a few layers of spray paint on it and then we'll be ready to start putting the floor on. All right, I've got the uh, frame and the wheels painted. Painted the wheels black instead of that gray. Uh, probably end up painting the inside of the wheels as well. So now I'm gonna start working on the floor and I'm gonna cut the floor out of this piece of plywood here. All right, I took one side of the brace off so I could slide in the floor. I uh, had to go around and cut out the notches for these posts. I wanted to keep, I was thinking about just doing a straight flat bed, but I wanted to incorporate these part of the original frame so I could uh, tie stuff to it. And it just makes the overall trailer a little bit more rigid. So got all those cut out and they're nice. I'm going to go ahead and paint this floor and we'll keep moving along. All right, so I went through and I drilled four holes in the frame so I could run these carriage bolts right through the frame and then I'll drill in the same location, of course, uh, right in the floor. So I've got my holes drilled. I've got my floor uh, painted black and 
I'll go ahead and put it on. All right, I got the floor in it now. Uh, you can see here I ran these carriage bolts through. Uh, one thing I am going to do is I'm just going to get a little bit shorter of a bolt. Uh, really not that big a deal, but just want a little bit less hanging out down there. So I just put four in it. It's, uh, it's solid. It's not going to go anywhere. Got four spread out kind of evenly there. What I'm going to do now for one final thing, uh, just for some extra support and a place to kind of strap things to, I'm going to run some side panels right here on this frame. Kind of keep gear, you know, from moving left to right while it's in there and just give me a spot to tie some more stuff down. So now I'm just taking some pine boards and I painted those black and ran a couple pilot holes through here. Um, then I'll just attach some side boards on this and I'll pretty much be done at that point. So there's the finished product guys. Got the side boards installed. Got the floor in, got it all painted. Might end up running some eye bolts just in a couple different spots for some tie straps, but um, one of the reasons I want to put these sideboards on was not only for gear and equipment, was not only for gear and equipment, you know, to stay in left and right, but I can also wrap bungee cords, uh, tie down straps, whatever, around those sideboards. So pretty fun little project. Happy with how it turned out. Nut for the through axle on my bike is too big for uh, the mounting piece that this utilizes. So I'll have to do some rigging on that. Then I'll make sure and come back and show you some videos of some uh, gear and equipment on the trailer and see how the bike performs, see how it pulls. So if you have any questions on this project, uh, just make sure and comment down below. Uh, be happy to answer any questions you might have. So make sure and hit that subscribe button, like this video. Be safe, guys. We'll see you. Bye.